Hello YouTube, this is the seventh video in our JavaScript and Canvas game development tutorial series. In this video we're going to be um, changing some images when the user clicks on a box. Um, right now when the user clicks on a box it identifies how many boxes are surrounding it, but past that it doesn't really do anything else. Um, and what we want to do is when a user clicks on a box we want it to tell them how many Bombs, bombs are surrounding it. So um, we're going to open up our code here and um, I'm inside the click to pass function and in the last tutorial we had this console log and we can keep that for now but um, basically if mm, we're going to do an if statement and um, I have two images and um, if a box is clicked, we will add that box to the ar to an array of boxes that have been clicked. And then um, when we're and then we'll redraw the canvas with um, new images. So we'll start by saying if none of bombs surrounding greater than zero then we are going to do something and if it's less than zero um, or it's e if it's equal to zero then we are going to do something else so let's go up here make a global array um, we'll say var clicked these clicked boxes and that will be an array and we'll say clicked bees um, and what we're going to do is add on to the end of that array by um, setting by giving it an index of the length of the array, so like that, and that needs parentheses, and then that's going to be equal to another array. So this is going to be a multi-dimensional um, array, and what we want to do is for the first um, dimin er, for the first item in that array we're going to give it we're going to tell it what the x value is of the bomb that was clicked uh, let's see this is going to be clicked x I believe um, and then clicked y And that is going to tell us which bomb was clicked. And then, um, actually, this is an unnecessary if statement. Let's copy that. Um, and then the last item in this multiple, in this second dimension, is going to be um, the number of bombs surrounding it. So when something's clicked, we want to store the number of bombs surrounding it in the XY location. Um, now we want to update the, let's see, we want to update the canvas. So we're going to call our draw canvas function, which we're going to need to modify here. In a minute. Okay, so let's see. If, what we're going to do is check if the X and Y correspond to any items in the, in the um, clicked BS uh, array. And if they do, then we're going to draw something other than just the standard box. Um, so, first of all, let's find where I 
box. There it is. Um, we're also going to have var num and var zero. And those are going to be two other images. Um, num zero. And this is going to be num and zero. And I'll attach these uh, PNGs in the description for you so that you can use them. Okay. So now that those are defined, we can use them. Um, so we're going to use a for loop. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to loop through that, um, that array. So for k in um, which bs. Actually, I'm not going to do an in loop. I'm just going to do a standard. K is less than or equal to zero, or which bs dot length. K plus plus. Okay, so if. equal to x so this is the s the x and the y um, if that's equal to x actually not uh, let's see we want to actually use i and n here and not um, x and y because x and y are the pixel values and n and i are the column row values and um, think that's going to be what we want to do. Let's see. Um, if that's not right, we can change it later. So we also want to check for the y values to see if the y value is the equivalent. This n, the n and i might be backwards. If it's, we'll be able to tell if it's backwards. Um, then let's see. Okay, um, we're gonna make a var bin clicked is equal to false. And if this is true, if it if this box has been clicked, then we're gonna change that to true and if bin clicked is equal to true then we're going to um, let's see um, this will actually make an array with um, n and k, or n and i. Um, so that we know which one was clicked, or we know which one is being tested. Um, actually, we don't need that. Sorry. OK, so if bin clicked is equal to true, then we know that uh, this box that we're testing for right now is in that array. Um, and we're going to say clicked. Yes. We do need this to be multi dimensional. So zero, false. And we're going to store which k value was true. So.
one sec here. Um, okay. So, let me re-explain that. Um, bin clicked is going to have a, uh, is going to be a, an array, and right here when it's set to true, it's also going to be given a um, k value, which corresponds to which item in the array was clicked, in the clicked bs array was clicked, or which one corresponds to the one we're testing for. So we're going to say bin clicked 0 here. And we're going to say the um, third like item in that second dimension that we're going to get that value and we're going to set that equal to or we're going to check that with an if statement um, so if that is greater than zero then we're going to draw on here um, num else we're gonna draw whoops Jesus Else we're going to draw zero. So um, if that had zero boxes surrounding it, we'll draw that num image, and otherwise we'll draw the zero image. And if this is false, if been clicked one zero is false, if that hasn't been clicked, then we are just going to draw the standard box. Okay, so let's give that a go. Um, I forgot my little ampersands. We'll fix that by Okay, it's saying click BS is not actually an array. Hmm. I'm going to pause the video for a moment here. Okay, um, I think what I was, yeah, I don't need that equal sign. So, it was checking one more than the number of items in the array that there were. Okay, we got a working little thing here. Kind of. What's going on there? Um, that's probably a bomb. So, yeah, these ones that don't turn a different color are bombs. And we can click all over the place and see where there are bombs and not. All right, so we're getting kind of closer to a real game here. Cool. Um, so in the next video, we're going to be adding numbers to these red ones, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.